Good morning. I have been doing some plant stuff that I haven't shown you. So I figured I would show you now. The first thing I have done is these two. This is a Syngonium Pink Splash and Syngonium Wendlandii. And I ended up pulling off the leaves from these plants because the, uh, the leaf on the uh, Pink Splash was all yellow and the Wendlandii was doing the same thing. And they had both uh, like started to sprout leaves, so I just put them in here instead. I have the top on so that I can preserve some of the humidity that uh, the water from the LECA evaporates. And then another thing that I did yesterday was to take apart my philodendron birkin. And the birkin was completely root bound. It was like all wound up and there was like a bad soil and whatnot. So I ended up splitting it into two separate. So this is one of them and this is in Lekka. There's not much roots on this one, honestly. I had to cut most of them off. Yeah, so I had to cut most of the roots off to get this transferred into Lekka because you can't have roots with a lot of soil on them because that can cause uh, rot when you put it into water. Um, so this one has this really cool leaf right here, which is like a half Birkin, half whatever other philodendron this is a hybrid from. And then this is the other one. This I planted into soil, so this still has some roots on it. Um, and this is the same pot that the both of them was in. Um, so both this plant and this plant was in this tiny little pot, so which is why I decided to break them up a little bit. This is the leftover or some of the soil that I had my peace lily in um, because my peace lily was big. This is the nursery pot that I had my peace lily in. As you can see, this is now empty. And the reason for that is that I decided to chop up my entire peace lily. I have two sets of like propagations from the peace lily in water. So this is one of them. It's just in a glass of water so that it can grow out some more roots. There are still roots down here. As you can see, there is also some soil on the roots. So I'm going to have to flush that out. So I'm going to let these grow some more roots and then I'm going to plant them again. And that's just because the pot was being so big and it was growing really weird because the the clusters of leaves that you have on a peace lily like this, they grow like this and you get roots from all of these nodes around here. And this started growing above soil and it just looked really funky. So I decided to just chop it down. So this is one part of it. And I, I have another one downstairs in the kitchen. I just think they look really nice. The other one is in a better looking vase than this. This is just a, an old glass that we got something in. And then other than that, I don't think I've done that much. I made a little prop box with sphagnum moss. I should have gotten a bigger container. There was more sphagnum moss in the bag than I thought there was. So I will probably move it into a bigger box at some point or take some of the moss out so that I can have more than one. So this is just what it looks like right now. It's just this little box with a clear lid that I can have some propagations in. So this one, this little green thing that you may be able to see right there, that is the Melanochrysum wet stick. I ended up, ended up moving it out of water and into here and I'm gonna, also going to take some more propagations of my syndapsis because it has really long like runners that doesn't have leaves and it just doesn't look that nice so i'm just gonna put the actual leaves in probably in lekka actually because i have these ones that are already sitting in lekka and they were miserable for a while but they adjusted to lekka really quickly and they seem to really be enjoying the Lekka and I would like to have these like shingling up the wall which is a lot easier when you can just take something like this and fill up water instead of like draining it through and all that. So just putting the leaves in Lekka like this and then putting the little sticks into here so that they can grow roots and leaves and be happy. So I'll just show you my syndapsis real quick so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I actually watered this yesterday or the day before. So here you can see this um, this stem as an example. 
it has a couple of leaves up here and then it has this runner with three nodes on it and then it has a leaf and then it has a node and then it has leaves on the end. And then I had chopped this in the past so this is a beginning little leaf in the end here. And then this one, this part is doing better. This is also something that I chopped off, I think. So this is like growing back into a more better plant. Here again, you have all of these different nodes here. And then you have this little thing of leaves just at the end. And here, this one is better. So here's, there's more leaves. There's a little runners here. And then you have leaf, 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 leaf. This actually has uh, leaves on all the nodes apart from one, which is completely fine. Uh, so I would just like to make it a little bit bushier because I don't know, I haven't repotted this since I got it. I picked this up in the spring in Christian Sam. So this is like completely empty up the top. Oh, because maybe not dip that in my food. So I kind of want to clean this up a little bit. And I really like how some parts of this look. Um, I just don't like all of it. So I want to chop up some. I have some here that are nice. The leaves are kind of tiny, but apart from that, like they look, they look cute. This uh, grew out from some new um, growth points after I cut the old parts. I'm just not sure what to do with them. They kind of look weird. The one that I have in Lekka already, which is this one, um, they are growing roots in here. So let me just lift this out. So this is one of them. This has one very long root. This had no roots when I put it in Lekka and it's not even been in there for that long. So it's really liking the Lekka. Yeah, so maybe I'll just cut them like this and then I'll just put them in Lekka. And then this is a small tiny one that has previously been in soil, but I transferred it into Lekka. And then we have this one. And you can see that tiny little root coming out the side there, and then the new leaf on the other side. So I've just had these all placed just into the Lekka. And it works fine. So I'm gonna just do the same to this one, I think. So I just have dirty scissors, not scissors, knife, knife. And then I'm just going to cut above or below each node. So we have one and then a node and then the nodes. I'm not going to cut them too big. So just like this, and I'm just going to leave them here to harden. So all the ones that already have leaves like this one, I'm going to put in Lekka or Perlite, maybe, I don't know. And then the ones that don't have a leaves, I'm going to put them in the prop box. So here are three different nodes, so I'm just going to cut them up. And I've never propped with moss before. This is my first attempt. So we'll see how it goes. But it's kind of fun. Maybe I'll just cut this entire plant down. Maybe I'll like place you so you can actually see what I'm doing. No, I cut the leaf. Damn, this was so pretty too. Okay. Like, I don't even know how to do this because there are so many on here. Maybe I'll just cut this entire thing as one. And then I'm just gonna keep this one as one. This little leaf tangle. I think maybe this is too big to keep as one cutting. So I'm gonna cut it at the nodes that doesn't have leaves. So now we have this pot with soil that I can just trash and then we have some cuttings. I'm gonna cut these two at the nodes that doesn't have leaves. Okay, so 
This is cutting number one. And then this tiny, tiny little thing. Um, this is previously grown from a wet stick. So this leaf is like brand new. And then, oh, this is so long. Okay, so we're gonna call this one a cutting. This leaf is so huge. I don't know what these, some of these are doing. Probably because I tried to tie them up a little bit and then they grew in around the thing and then I took it back down and then it was funky. You can see like these ones are completely grown around. And these don't like to be cut so they will mope for a good while. I seem to have pretty good luck with Syndapses when they even when they grow from wet sticks. I've heard that they are really hard to root I've just put them on damp soil covered them with a little bit damp soil and it it's worked fine for me at least and then we have a bunch of wet sticks that I'm gonna throw into the moss uh, I might do that too with a super tiny leaf that I had in Lekka just move it into the moss instead just because it's a little bit easier. So these are all of the wet sticks that I have. And then I'm gonna do something about these. I'm gonna let these chill so that they harden off first. So I'm gonna put all of these and this tiny little one into the um, sphagnum moss. So this is just what it looks like. And I'm just gonna stick it in there. And basically I can just sprinkle them in, I guess. And then I'm just gonna see if I can cover them with a little bit of moss. Humidity in here should help them get roots anyway, whether they are covered or not. But it makes me feel better that they're covered up. Okay, I think that's good. And then if I, maybe I'll do another one and I can put them in perlite just to see that how that works. I haven't tried, that's a lie, I have tried propagating once in perlite. I tried propagating a alocasia bulb and it didn't work. It rotted. <laughs> Christine here. I didn't film an outro for this video because this was originally a part of a vlog and I decided to split it out because it's just a whole day that's just about plants. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give this video a like. You can subscribe down below and I hope you stick around. I'm going to be posting some more plant videos soon. So if you're enjoying those, you can subscribe and click the bell to get notified and I'll see you next time. Bye.